Last, who soaks up Latter-day Saints for training And bugs in reverse when the moon is waning Only pain in my smiles under miles and rims Plus I sound like a lot rocking brand new Tim's Say slut, take my gym and get forbidden With teeth right out my mouth, that's a reflux spitting It was written in blood by past thugs making green They got the throats cut before they had a chance to scream Someone gave the order, drink water with Jack Till I'm puking on my sweater, laying flat on my back That's that, this, this, end of the abyss Kissing leper bitches sick with green shit on their lips Fuck a roach clip, just flip a new L Clits, tip, pussy, fuck it, sex sells Push a Yukon XL with bodies on the bike rack Stop talking about trees, please and like that And niggas might rack, catch these with the fishes While I explore the cavities into ocean side bitches With my Vaseline fist, fully expanded Buckle backs and legs till they just can't stand it Get you what laminated hip hop Ripped off the hinges the time zone um, As we hit 400 fragrances And I can probably say this will probably be the last all these videos you'll see for a good time, you know, in 2015, I'm not really looking to probably buy more than a fragrance a week at most, I would say. Um, so while the videos are definitely going to continue, I have a lot to review and, um, you know, if I get a fragrance a week, I'll review that fragrance every week. Um, I don't know how many of these more you'll see. I would imagine at least a couple more. Um, and, and as long as this channel's on and I reach another 25 fragrances, boom. Um... I'll update this, but this indeed is collection video number 16. Um, officially, now there's a little rub here. Officially, I am at about bottle 410, but there's a reason, a sort of a reason why. And let's just get right into it. The first eight fragrances are from a Kofre set that I bought from Mason Francis Curtijan. Um, You know, I only count them as bottles if they're either. Um, decans of 15 ml or more or they're in official bottles from the manufacturer and these are so I'm going to review the whole Mason Francis Curtijan set that I got but it comes with 8 11 ml um, bottles and so I did buy that and so let's just go through those eight real quick the first one is um, Luminaire Pour uh, pour, Luminaire Noir, Lumiere Noir Pour Homme. Um, the second is Oud, which is really one of the main reasons I got it because the set is 200 bucks and Oud is a expensive uh, fragrance. It comes with the newest one, Masculine Pluriel. It comes with, um, which one is this one? Uh, Aqua Universalis, the um, original. It comes with, um, which one is this? This one is Apom, uh, Pisami, uh, Porom. Uh, it comes with Aqua Vitae, which is uh, another really new one. I think came out last summer. It comes with um, Amaris Porom, which is turning out to be my favorite. It's a lovely coffee. Um, an oud fragrance and it comes with aqua universalis forte so boom right off the bat you have those eight from the mason uh, francis curtijan uh, collection i'm going to review that whole set um, in the future another one that i'm planning on reviewing um, you should see it in the future is f by ferragamo poro um, two from the house of yovam um, one came with a crack cracked cap uh, this one is Black Musk, and the other one is a 70s fragrance. This one is Sex Appeal. Um, intense Oud and um, Secret Amber really got me uh, wanting to explore this house more, so I picked up these two um, on the real, real cheap from the house of Yovam. Uh, this one is one that really surprised me. I talked about it in a quick take video I did, guys. This is Bora Bora Exotic. From the house of Liz Claiborne, definitely one of the better ones I've smelled from the house. Uh, as is this, which is 112 from Halston, really green galbanum uh, fragrance, very piney and sort of um, green, <laughs> very green, sort of has a grassy feel to it. Uh, this one I absolutely hate. Um, don't buy this. This is Penguin Rocks. Uh, it's just really spotty in terms of performance, and there's nothing that daring about it. I think it's a waste of money. Um, this one is interesting. This is Vince Camuto. Uh, this isn't poor home. I think this is just Vince Camuto for men. And um, it's an interesting, it's a leather, sort of a freshy leather fragrance. It's it's interesting. If you see it, um, if you see it for not a lot of money, you might want to check this one out because it's really not a bad fragrance at all. Uh, this one, I posted a review. I absolutely fell in love with this. Uh, 
the first time I smelled it. I just sprayed a uh, spray now because I, I am so into this. This is Peruvian Ambrette from the Xenia Essenza line. So full review on that guy. Uh, this is another one, a full review of this is coming if it's not already up. This is Fan Defendi uh, Pour Homme. This is an excellent um, sort of red pepper leather scent if that makes any sense it's very different from what else is out there and it's definitely an excellent fragrance for you to check out um this from the house of perry ellis the last that was on my list to get from them's house this is perry ellis reserve uh for men very bright citrusy sparkling fragrance nothing that's gonna blow you away but but i think it's pretty decent quality to be honest with you guys um this one i'm liking more and more every day to have a full review of this one coming. It should be up actually by the time you see this. Excuse me. This is Red Musk Eau de Parfum uh, by The Body Shop. Um, really, really nice musk scent. It's got some um, some cinnamon and tobacco in it. So it's, uh, it's not a girly musk. Um, this one I think I talked about in a quick take video. If not, I will. This is Davidoff Champion, and the bottle is meant to look like a dumbbell, which is just fucking dumb. But uh, Davidoff Champion surprised me. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. This is another one that if the review ain't up, guys, it's coming. I promise you, this is Bentley for Men Intense, and Bentley for Men Intense is a fingerprint magnet. Um, this one is one I got, uh, it's not just Century 21, I'd never seen this before. I had just bought Xenia Ascenza, the, uh, Womo, I mean, um, the Peruvian Ambrette, so I gave this one a chance, and it's, it's turned out relatively well. It's, uh, Xenia, uh, Womo Absolute, so, uh, if you smell the original Womo, this is a darker, darker version of that. Um, you see the box behind you and that's because I picked up Versace's Eros. I really like this. I think it's a great Tonka bean, minty, apple scent. I think they took their shot at one million, a clubbing scent, and I think Versace did an excellent job with this. I know that it doesn't get a lot of fragrance. Come love, a lot of people don't like it, but I think if you're looking for that sort of loud and bold night out fragrance, you could do a lot worse than Eros, especially at the prices you could find Eros for these days. And then the last two um, from this update, uh, both um, either um, should have reviews up or. Uh, or they're coming. The first one is from the House of Caron. To me, this is their best fragrance. I, I'm going to be a little bit bold here and say I think it's a masterpiece. Actually, um, it's a fragrance called Yadigan, and that's the name of a Turkish uh, saber. It's called the Yadigan. It's very dusty and almost like sandy. It's sort of like I could see Indiana Jones wearing this. Um, it's just like very dry and sort of arid, and it's got earthy notes in it. It's just really um, it's just really interesting. You know, I haven't smelled a lot like Yadigan. It's definitely niche and quality, so check it out if you haven't. And then finally, one that really surprised me, and I can't wait for you guys to see the review on this. Um, it's supposed to be a feminine fragrance, but I think it's unbelievably unisex. Um, it's, it's a really interesting fragrance from the house of Balmain. This one's called Ambergris, and um, it's got some cinnamon in it. It's almost gourmandy. Uh, it's just really nice. I just I don't want to say too much about it because I, I, I want to talk about it in the review. But uh, there you go, guys. Fragrance is 375 through 400. And as I said, wow. Um, you know, we'll probably have um, 425 up in the spring. And then, you know, because I'm already 10 in because I got the Francis Curtis on set. Um, that's sort of the caveat. So once we have that one in the spring, get the fragrance 425, then... Um, you know, maybe one more next year. You know, we'll see. Maybe we'll, we'll get one more next year. Um, but uh, as you can tell, man, when you have 400 fragrances, um, you know, at least 10 mLs of 400 fragrances, you know, that that's not touching my samples, which I have at least another 500 um, of decants and samples. That's, you know, 900 things. You, you can pick a fragrance every day for three years, and you're probably not going to repeat yourself. And, um... I don't know that I need much more than that, you know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But uh, but it's 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 all it's it's great because I I I'm in, I love my collection. I there's not an occasion or a time that I don't have something perfect for. Um, but in the same vein, I've spent a lot of money and a lot of time. Um, and so I don't you know I just don't have any more bottles. Um, 
I'm going to buy, but I say that. And then it, it seems to always work out where there's something that comes out. I'm like, I have to have that one. So uh, so we'll see what happens. You know, I plan on at least doing a review every week and, and continuing my sample shopping. And after, you know, much more than that, I don't know about. But, uh, but you know, thank you guys for, for going through this with me and, and for watching my videos and subscribing and, and leaving comments. And, you know, I start, my collection won't be this. Uh, if you guys weren't there to, to feed off it, you know, I think I, I love that. Uh, I love that you guys are excited when I have videos up and I have new collection videos or I'm just reviewing something or it's another episode of Sample Shopping. Like, you know, that 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 that's why I do this. That's why I'm going to continue to do this. So thank you guys. I hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you again real soon with another video. My name is Max Elian. XL with bodies on the bike rack. Stop talking about trees, please, and like that. I think it's my rack. Catch these with the fishes while I explore the cavities into ocean side bitches with my Vaseline fist fully expanded buckle backs and legs till they just can't stand it get your glam laden hip hop ripped off its hinges I stay stuck in time zones frozen and eat the binge see I reproduce wingless and develop the taste for the laboratory poison that destroyed my race now I'm space destined testing it was kicks to make sure they stick to the earth once the poles flip fuck the beat I rip limbs off of your crew then watch the game and drink a bud true true